We are almost ready to eat brunch. I can't help it, it's so darn good. We camped this site here right next to it almost exactly two years ago today, which is the other reason for this video. We are celebrating two years that I've been on YouTube. All right, and then this is my site. With and for dinner, really good. It tastes quite yummy. So hopefully this helps bring me some good luck this year. So I just wanted to share that with you. And now before I start crying, I'm gonna finish my coffee making and head out to the beach so that we can watch the sun come up on the new year. Good morning, friends and adventurers. Heather here from Heather's Hikes and Adventures. And today, today for me, is the 1st of January, January 1st of 2024. That means I officially survived 2023. And I'm starting off the new year right already because coffee. But with that said, um, I'm looking around here and I was so tired last night from my minimal low-key New Year's Eve. Hopefully you've already seen that car camping video. If not, check it out after this one. But anyways, I just kind of crashed without uh, tidying up or preparing for the next morning like I try to normally do. So the first thing that I'm going to do today is start off the new year with a uh, less cluttered living quarters, <laughs> if you will. So we are going to straighten up my inside here of my minivan Tara, and then I am gonna take my coffee outside and cook a really nice brunch because I slept in and I've been lazy this morning just editing and scrolling on my phone. I am going to actually start the potatoes and then start straightening because they'll take a while to cook and I'm getting hungry. So check in with you in a bit. Oh, first let me show you this disaster area so that I can hold myself accountable. You can see what we're starting with as the before and then I'll give you a little tour once I've tidied up a bit and uh, show you around my campsite in case you haven't seen it yet. Oh, and I forgot to mention, I've been camping at the coast for a few days now, and I haven't even been to the beach yet. So stay tuned because we are finally going to the beach, and it is a beautiful beach, one of my favorite ones to relax at here on the Florida East Coast. So stick around because after our brunch, we are going to head over to one other destination on our way out of here. We are going to say hello to my favorite tree for the start of the year because, you know, I have a special relationship with trees. <laughs> and then we are heading over to an amazing campsite that you are definitely going to want to see. And I am definitely excited to show you that one. So, a lot going on today. We are going to start the new year off right, and you are coming with me. All right, let's take a quick look at the disaster before... 
not too too bad up there I just kind of got everything thrown around right now start the potatoes and then we'll get cleaning. Got the last of my apple cranberry cider for the morning because I couldn't close the bottle back up. We're gonna be using the electric pot. I gotta go grab my blue eddy though and then we're gonna be having some chicken sausage and some diced potatoes. Alright you guys, we are almost ready to eat brunch. It is noon. I am all cleaned up. I just have to throw that away on my way out and just put those in the back. Obviously put that away once I'm done eating and then let's look at what the inside looks like now. Alright. Got my hand warmers up here ready to charge while I'm driving along with my other cords. I've got to wash out my coffee cup still. I'll look at Fred and the rainbows right now looking all fancy for the new year. Okay and then we've got everything. Got my gray water bottle. I've still got that open because I have to take my supplements and then I'll refill my water bottle. all made. Tara's looking good again. And then all I have to do is turn that off and stow that. Turn these off and I'll probably charge them while I'm driving so that I can use them again tonight. All right, time to eat. I'm about to get another plate dirty after I just got done cleaning up everything. So I'm just gonna eat straight from this and then clean this out, load that up, pop that in the back, and we're ready to roll out onto the beach. I appear to have a stowaway trying to come with me to the next site. All right, Tomoka State Park campsite, you've been good to us. On to the next. I don't know if you can tell, but just that little tiny bit of breakdown that I did has me out of breath already. It's so frustrating not being able to do the simplest things without getting super exhausted and worn out from them, but say la vie. We are gonna make a quick pit. Uh, oops, not leave this up here. We are gonna make a quick pit stop before we officially leave the park. One to pee, and two to get a local brew from the store. Here we're gonna have a Tomoka EPA at Tomoka State Park from the Ormond Brewing Company. Ormond Brewing Company. There you go. See, I haven't even had a beer yet. <laughs> All right, see you in a sec. All right, Tomoka Outpost, here we come. Looks like I shouldn't have taken that little nap yesterday. I thought they were open nine to three again today. Oh, well. On we go. <sighs> well, my plan to have a Tomoka brew while overlooking the Tomoka River ended up flopping. <laughs> because I decided to sleep yesterday, but that's okay. I definitely didn't need two beers yesterday. So we are going to head to visit one of my favorite trees really quick. And then we are going to, I guess, just head on to camp and hopefully they'll let us check in a little early. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. TBD. 
It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. This is the definite winner over the uh, Tomoka EPA. Although it's not a surprise because I always like red ales. I can't help it, it's so darn good. I think it's my new favorite. Magic, magic. 
magic, magic. Ooh. All right, we are getting this window cover up ASAP because the sun is no joke. And I want no part of that in my eyes right now. So I think I am going to leave the Lucy light out to charge. There we go. Better already. It is actually toasty in the car suddenly. I am gonna run to the restroom because I need to pee again. And then we are gonna open up the back and the side and let that cross breeze in. And then I'm gonna show you around. All right, I've got blue charging here on the table. Got my little chair set up in the shade. If the sun were higher I would put my window screen in but since it's already starting to sink down low I'm okay there got my screens in just in case the noseums come out although I think it's too cold for them tonight knock on wood plus I really wanted to get that breeze going inside I've got my coffee set up ready for the morning I'm getting ready to take my supplements. Got my fan ready to go. Oh, I wonder what's in there. Got a nice breeze. My seat's all clear and ready to go. I pulled out some of my dinner ingredients. The rest are in the fridge. But we are going to be making black-eyed peas. If I did not already say that, I think I might have. So wish me luck there. <laughs> Otherwise, we are set up. I've got my window covers here since the sun is quite aggressive at the moment. That's keeping it nice and cool, ironically, for now. Let's see what's on the other side of these dunes, though, shall we? Actually camped this site here right next to it almost exactly two years ago today which is the other reason for this video we are celebrating two years that I've been on YouTube almost exactly two years ago today I camped at this exact same spot and filmed my very first ever YouTube video This is my site, which is 25. There's the overlook that we were just standing at for the beach. I've got my electric and water there. And then around this side, we've got my picnic table and fire ring. By the way, you guys, I'm officially a genius. I realized my tiniest bungees could secure sheets when the table is too big for my stretchy thing. So, I'm pretty sure that qualifies me for some kind of prize. All right, I think I'm gonna change into something a little more comfortable now that it's warmer, and then head down to the beach for a little bit before dinner time. I don't know if I've shown this dehumidifier before. I think I have, it's rechargeable. Anywho, they're starting to go a little green, so I'm gonna, while I'm using the shore power, I'm gonna take advantage and charge it up. All right, so we're taking in about 193 watts, and it looks like this is evening out around 67-ish watts to charge, so not too bad. All right, let's see how I'm set up for the night here. I already showed you I've got my window covers in. I pulled my coffee stuff out. I've got my cord ready for when I need it. I've got my MiFi, Wi-Fi, MiFi, whatever thingy-majiggy. I've got that in case I get cold. 
just in case I want to put a movie in. I've got my wipes ready. I just took all my supplements. I've got my coloring books and work ready. Bed's all ready to go and set up. I've got my lights all on. Shower bag is right there ready to be used. My seat is all comfy to sit in later. And for dinner, we are gonna be using some organic chicken broth, some black eyed peas. This was literally the second to the last can in the entire store of any brand, of any kind. No more black eyed peas. And then I'm gonna use another one of these. I figure those will cook better for a soup-ish type consistency. And then spinach. So we're going to do spinach, carrots, some chicken sausage, and black eyed peas with broth to make kind of like a soupy, casserole stew-ish kind of thing. We'll see how it turns out. By the way, do you guys notice anything in particular? It's bad. Okay, so I don't want to go all the way down to the beach, even though that's the beach access right back there. Um, I don't want to leave my van unattended, even though I'm sure it's fine and I'm not really that worried about it. But I am going to go over to the lookout here and enjoy the water once I get my soup cooking um, to watch the sunset, even though the sunset doesn't really set over the water on the east. It's always pretty anyway, so that's the plan. All right, I just made a coffee so that I'll stay awake. And let's check on our soup. Ooh, I wish I could turn it down lower. All right, we're gonna try a test bite. Let's see. a taste to make sure it was okay. It turned out more of a soup than I'd planned. I wanted it to be less liquidy and it's a little on the salty side. I should have used just garlic but all I had was garlic salt. Um, man, other than that it's really good. It tastes quite yummy so hopefully this helps bring me some good luck this year.
plan is to run back to my van, make some coffee real quick, and then get back before the sun comes up. Good morning. Please excuse my messy hair and the noise of my kettle and my blue eddy running and everything else. I'm on a race against the clock right now. I've got about 15 minutes until official sunrise. Good thing I'm only a few steps from the beach, <laughs> but I wanna make sure I see that sun come up. It'll be my very first sunrise of 2024, which is always symbolic for me. Okay, I'm still waiting for the water to boil, so she's taking her time. And I realized I think I left my AC inverter on my Jackery 1000 on after I used it last night, so I'm scared to look at how much that drained overnight, because even when you don't use it, if you leave the inverter for the AC on, it continues to drain a tiny bit, so fingers crossed. We were at like 63% last night, so I think it should be fine, but... Anywho, what I was going to say is that I was scared poopless two years ago this time. And when I go back and look at that first video, I'll link it below if you want to watch it and you haven't seen it yet. I can tell that I was nowhere near as comfortable speaking with you all on camera. I was super shy, super self-conscious especially about my voice um because i just i hated the way it sounded and i wasn't sure how it was going to be received <laughs> joke was on me i still get comments about it <laughs> but um it's bothering me less and less as i just you know i'm becoming more comfortable with me and i have a whole new list of complaints to come to terms with <laughs> so i don't have time to worry about that one anymore but um i was so scared and I was just doubting, should I post it? Should I upload it? Is this gonna be the biggest mistake of my life? Am I gonna regret this? And, you know, going all over the different scenarios of why I shouldn't do it before I finally just <laughs> went for it and hit that upload button. And honestly, this has been the thing over the past two years that has kept me going when everything else has been not going for me because it's always been something that I can look at and see produ um, productivity from it. Like, okay, even though I wasn't able to get the house clean and I wasn't able to do this that I wanted, I wasn't able to get you know, all of these goals met. Sorry for the steam. <laughs> We're making coffee. Um, <clears throat> you know, I was still able to create something that I loved and create something positive, even when I wasn't feeling so positive all the time. And I think it's because I was showing you all the things that bring me joy and sharing my happy places with you all. So it just was a way, oh dear, where'd I find my scoop? Hold please. So it was just a way for me to um, kind of share the good in my life instead of dwelling on all of the things that were causing me stress, that were scary, that were not so fun. And I get to, um, you know, share and inspire and, and bring beauty to other people because I know that I use YouTube as escapism all the time to see beautiful places that I haven't been, that I want to go, that I may never see, um, to see people doing things that I probably will never do. Um, you know, just, it's, it's incredible to me, you know, to, that these people are sharing with us and I wanted to do that. So I did, and it has brought me a lot of joy when I didn't think it was possible to feel joy. <laughs> so I just wanted to share that with you. And now before I start crying, I'm gonna finish my coffee making and head out to the beach so that we can watch the sun come up on the new year. They're positive to me cutting out most of my sugars is that I need less and less creamer now so I can get away with just a little bit. The coffee still tastes delicious and my creamer uh, lasts much longer. All right, let's go. I'm going to bring you with me. Thank you. 
You can tell by the reflection in my DVD player, the sun is up at Flagler Beach. And I am back inside out of the cold wind. I'm charging up my hand warmers because I forgot to do that, dang it, and I used both of them yesterday. You can see I was working on my posting schedule. Just made some coffee, of course. I'm getting ready to make another cup, getting ready to put a little YouTube on while I do that. And, uh, yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. I um, just kind of wanted to take you with me as I brought in the new year um, in a beautiful spot at a sought after campground that I got lucky enough to get two years ago at this time to film my first video with you guys. And then I got lucky again to get a spot actually right next to the spot that I had then um, and kind of feels kind of a little bit like a full circle moment and I just wanted to share it with you all. So I hope each and every one of you had a safe and happy New Year's Eve saying goodbye to 2023. Now it is out with the old and with the new year. Happy 2024 to all of you. Thank you for being here on my journey last year and I hope to see all of you throughout this year on all of the fun adventures that I have planned. Till then, ta-ta!